Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, a war of the chosen, my name is Saiken and today we're continuing our no shot run, it is time for Operation Hellseed, we're still trying to beat the game on legendary Iron Man difficulty without shooting a single shot, and that is easier said than done, because if you are actually looking at the available options that we have, it's mostly melee, and that is uh, not turning out to be without casualties let's say it um, like it is and uh, psionics and we're like barely at the brink of getting psionics to work today we can get a new engineer that will help us because we're also trying to build up the um, avenger so that um, we have a proper build order and intel which we need in order to expand so the mission is really solving a lot of our problems at the same time Commander, you should be aware. We're detecting loft activity in this area. Our forces will need to be especially vigilant. I think the team, almost by default, seems like one of the best ones that we could field. Um, Sane here is shaken. Might as well take Sukuger. Just a short question. Sukuger is... Um, a bond made with uh, quick feet. Yeah, we can't take quick feet, but that's okay. Let's make weapons available. Let's make utility items available. And let's get this bad boy running. So, Skulljack Medkit. Yes, please. Sonar. Skulljack Medkit. Yes, please. Hogbite gets a mine shield. Divert, Mind Shield, and Zirkim takes the Mimic Beacon. Okay. And Diva takes the other Mimic Beacon. Okay. Which means we do not have We do not have room for our battle. Oh wait, we do. And we actually do. There we go. We could field all of the items. Finally, I'm having almost enough items to at least equip everybody. That is a fantastic feeling. So uh, so often, so far, we couldn't even use the items. But yeah, I'm not sure if we can this time use the uh, school jacks. It's probably only fighting against the loss. But yeah, let's, let's uh, see what the mission uh, holds for us. All right, we just landed. Resistance expedition is trapped not far from your position, and the VIP is using a remote turret to hold off the loss. We only have one clear access point to the area, so get to the target's location and escort them back to the entry point for extraction. The Good, we're going to charge lost. in. Don't bother trying to outgun them. After you secure the expedition, you'll have to return to our original entry point for extraction. Don't get overrun. Keep the path back to Firebrand clear. Very well. Location confirmed. Let's just move everybody up here for now. So Cougar moves up. I'm okay with Roby staying a tiny bit back and just watching the scene for now. There's only one lost and we can easily finish him. That's kind of a bonus kill. Okay, things just got a little bit more ugly. Things just got a little bit more ugly. That chosen is headed right for us. Keep your guard up and your eyes peeled. Okay, fair enough. So who has the who has the battle scanner? Zirkin. We need him at the front. You guys, on the other hand, can take care of the of the loss. There we go. Well, that's one down. It's dead. It has to be dead. 
And of course, per the usual, there are always more lost. But who can handle them? We're moving up. Good. Zirkim charges in. Zukugur charges in. And Sonar charges in. She cannot reach us immediately, but very soon she will be in range, so we gotta be a bit careful here. Yep, that's one down. The end is coming. Good, let's see if we can spot her out down here. We did not yet spot her out. Okie dokie. Let's completely charge in. But before we do that, I want to make sure that Roby gets his full. That Roby gets his full um, chance to get a focus. Meaning we're going to soften this guy up <clears throat> so that Roby can kill him right away. Not Roby, Hawkbite of course. God damn it. The names. There's one focus. And we're parrying. Very good. Roby is moving up. And we are also going to move up to here. Yeah, we don't need to use Comet Protocol for that. We're instead moving everybody up here. And let's just make ourselves the least favorite target because I don't know if the assassin will jump through the window or if she's trying to attack someone on the platform. She's not yet doing anything. That's interesting. Good, a few losts are coming from the other side. There is some more focus for our Templar. Hawkbite says thank you. They're almost out of ammo for the turret, Commander. We have to get moving. We are blocking the letter. And with it, I am everywhere. And let's see if we can find out where the chosen is at. Uh, still not there. Okay, that's unfortunate. Moving up, mainly in the hopes of spotting her out.
That indeed is unfortunate. Evert begins to move down as well. Still trying to find the Chosen, really. Nothing. I really don't. I really don't uh, want Hogbite to be ambushed. All right, we found her. Wonderful. Your recent actions against our facilities only slow the inevitable. A temporary distraction at best. We've got our shot at the Chosen. Let's make sure it counts. All right. We're using teamwork. I hope I can reach her. It's going to be close. No, just barely out of uh, line of sight. Moving out here. Can't use the stabilize either. We could, however, move a tiny bit back. Or we're moving up. That would allow us to resurrect the sniper and the sniper would become or whatever gunner uh, and the gunner would become the new mimic beacon so to speak if we can spare the manpower we should try to bring the escort in as well the vip manning the turret oh now we're triggering loss i was hoping that i would do that so that i could tr uh, attack and trigger perry Well, talking about poor timing, right? <laughs> Revival protocol. Gets the gunner up. There we go. Little trick in those missions. And how about our VIP just positions themselves up here, away from the loss. The gunner, on the other hand, positions themselves here, so that no matter who's going to be hit, she's going to take a solid blade storm attack. And we're starting with softening up via combat protocol, of course. Okay, <clears throat> end of turn. Let's see what she is going to do. Uh, summoning priests. Not the worst idea. There's the blade storm. Unfortunately, she went for Hawkbite. <coughs> gotta, he gotta hate it. Hopper is going to follow her. I wanted to go through the mission without damaging Hawkbite. 
that was kind of the secondary objective. And now she has taken him at the only time during the entire mission where he did not have parry up. <clears throat> so that's partially my fault for just charging in and making it a 50-50. But it is also partially bad luck. Really? Oh, that must be a dasher. There is no room for mistakes here. Firebrand is in position. Get back to the entry point for extraction before you get overrun. I would like to scout out where she's at. Keep up with. Take compass, for there is dignity in death to superior. No, 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 yes. Got to say thank you for the little bit of damage that she dealt. We're going to heal up. And let's start killing some of the losts. There we go. One more down. Moving the VIP in this direction. Torch can take some hits, that's okay. Evert is running over here. <clears throat> Big deal. Good, let's continue to block so that no one's coming up here. I don't think that we need to heal one uh, damage so far. Moving down here. There you go. Well, that's one down and two, which means we have cleared the bunch. And let's clear the guy up here. All right, so far so good. I think we're having a solid position. Of course, we're going to be overrun sooner or later. If some of them turn against the priest, that would be fantastic. The elders have protected them well. Is she going to harbor wave? No, vanishing wind, okay. She might be spotted out with so many losts. Yeah, and there she is. Perfect. <clears throat> Thanks for spotting her out. 
And thanks for the loss um, in helping with the priest. This world holds a great deal of promise. One must simply look past the current inhabitants. Good, we're still trying our very best to keep that massive swarm away from from everyone. Boy, oh boy. Okay, we probably need to use some teamwork. Can we combat protocol someone downstairs? No, we can't. Ah, that is unfortunate. Remnant stabilized, combat protocol is empty for him. Oh, gotta hate when that happens. Okay, let's try to hit the guys with the higher hit points. The loss with the higher hit points usually hit for more. We, of course, want to prevent that from happening. giving another turn. Unfortunately, the damage rolls here were suboptimal. So we really couldn't hit all of them quite well. We could have killed them. And, of course, Common Protocol would have been a nice way of uh, getting rid of all, all of them. That, unfortunately, overall did not work out. VIP charges in. Torch over here is offering herself as the sacrificial lamp. The VIP wouldn't die from one hit, so that's okay. Now, the most important fight is currently happening between Hawkbite and the Assassin. What? Oh, now I do understand why. All right, we're parrying. Now we're going to keep our um, our enemy protocol. Just hunker down. <laughs> he tries to mind control the hawk bite. That is a futile effort, my friend. Others have tried and others have failed. More losses are coming. Which some of them make their way to Hawkbite. Hawkbite is more than ready. He awaits them. And this is really <clears throat> what I meant with Bladestorm is making a difference. Whilst without Bladestorm, we are limited in the number of attacks that we can do. Situation looks quite different with Bladestorm. And this beautifully uh, piled up hill of corpses is a testament for it. Yep, you're getting what you deserve.
VIP begins to charge out. And by thinking about it, I think everybody else should more or less do the same. We're abandoning the post here. He does have stasis next turn. The reason why I would want to attack him is he also has loot. All of the summoned ones immediately have loot and that'll be additional um, supplies. And we need them at the moment. It's kind of a little optimization. With a disorientation he cannot go for... He cannot go for... Um, or his stasis. Already there. I'm all over it. There's the loot I was talking about. Yeah, the data pad is extra intel which we also need keep it coming Hawkbite versus the loss is not even a fair fight. Hawkbite is definitely having the upper hand, specifically due to Bladestorm. Without Bladestorm it would look probably different. He can block and he has Arc Wave, but they would likely overrun him at some point. Ooh, oh, 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 that's not good. Menace one five, keep pushing towards the evac point. No matter what you do, you're never gonna make a dent in the lost. There's just too many coming in. Okay, that is unfortunate. Where's the evac point, by the way? I figured it would be here. Oh, yeah, it's down here. Okay, perfect. But they're not reacting to mimic beacons. And I don't want our VIP to be killed. Which is why we need to take a short stand. And explain to them who's boss and who isn't. Hogbite gently, ever so gently, follows them. And let's offer them a new target. Maybe they are going for Hogbite. There we go. Moving down. And let's give some comet protocol just so that we can finish one more. Yeah, without Blade Storm, these guys are a real pain in the rear. Richter got his promotion. I'll just leave Torch here. 
so that sh uh, they are likely to attack her. Alright. Another swarm appears. That does not mean anything for Hogbite, other than more kills. I think we even got a promotion on Hogbite if I haven't misseen it, which means he's at maximum rank. And that would be fantastic. Yep. They were biting for the. Um, for the lure here. That didn't feel good. That didn't feel good. Good. Hogbite still has everybody's back. Bam, one down. And move into here so that that guy will die with Bladestorm. And we finally can move out. Slight injuries on a few soldiers. That seems to be the normal way that our missions uh, work with a melee only. Soldiers seem to be continuously getting injured every single mission. I'm trying to play them as flawless as possible, but even against the loss without uh, without Bladestorm, it's super difficult to keep them away. And all of them are running next to Hawkbite. Yep, Blade Storm definitely is changing this game quite a bit. Let's hit this guy and we're getting out of here. I'm, I'm trusting you here. All right. Moving out and moving out. Boy, oh boy, what a mission. I figured it was uh, going to be easy, but it was a bit more difficult than expected. The losses are still not easy to deal with. Um, at least not without uh, Bladestorm. And we land fresh and uh, completely wounded, apparently. 10 days for Hogbite is... Well, that is unfortunate. Okay, I think we're going for Ghost. Ion, uh, Iconic Storm is not bad either. So I like both choices. Since we don't have a lot of AoE, I'm wondering if Ionic Storm currently is the better choice. And then we're going for Ghost afterwards, right? Let's try that. Either Reflect or Amplify. I think we're going for Reflect first, Amplify second, and then Ghost. And then Void Conduit. So, a lot of points uh, that we would need for him. Yeah, that is an interesting selection. 
we almost cannot take threat assessment because if we were to give someone threat assessment, they would do overwatch shots and that would lose our uh, that would lose our campaign. And yeah, we probably need to do covering fire, which is a complete dead level for us. I wish I could instead take scanning protocol. And threat assessment is so good, you wouldn't want to miss it normally. Advanced scope uh, is good money, data pad is good money as well. And everybody's happy uh, that was a successful mission. So let's get Emily Smith going. Yes, please. Gotta get the engineer out of here as well. Bond training. Keep it going. Oh, that's good. And yeah, I think we got a scan for health again. Blast padding. Yes. Demolition. Yes. Don't need that. Heavy ordinance. Yes. It's such a useless class if you can't use it. But yeah, I guess, I suppose everybody is a useless class if you can't use their skills, right? So yeah, tragic. We don't need a Grenadier. Maybe she can be of use in the Covert Ops missions. Add in alloys is an option. We're first of all going to the black market because we need to get some supplies. That frees up another engineer. Advent Priest Corpse. Oh, absolutely. Viper Corpse. Yeah, no problem. We can get the medi... Well, let's keep three. Max. Yep, that is fine. And the advanced scope gives us another 21, so it was worthwhile doing that. Overall 100. That's okay. Let's upgrade the power relay. That frees up this guy. And we can use uh, that engineer to create, uh, to uh, upgrade the next power coil. Should have probably uh, not upgraded it right away. That was, uh, well, you could argue it either way. In five days, Elarium is done. And with Elarium, you can upgrade it to an even better power coil. Ah, uh, that was maybe not not the optimal decision. On the other end, I'm getting five more days of um, excavation out of it. So you can make the argument either way. Let's once again heal faster. Which seems to be... Uh, seems to be the most utilized skin in this entire run. And one of the data pits is gone. That sucks. Now their designs will fail you. The chosen aren't afraid to resort to Good. It was a tough month. I'm not going to lie. We need to work to prevent these attacks before they catch up with us. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. This here is also a problem. Like, how would we deal? How would we deal with the cannon? I hope that you're. We will probably charge it with our Templar and just strike it. Oh yeah, of course. Barrier once again. That stinks. I, I don't know why they're trying it for the third time now, but it's such a nasty dark event, really. Why would you do it yet again? 
Okay, we're going to get one additional resistance contact because we need to expand. It is what it is. So, hunting the assassin with the grenadier would be a great idea. Without the grenadier would not be such a great idea. 19 ability points, that would be good. I like it. I like it. We're, we're on the right path here. Um... I think we should also do that. Okay. Zukuger. Unfortunately, I don't want to take Jammer as well. Now, let's take Jammer and Judge helps him. And we have plenty of other soldiers that can help. For instance, Isabella here. Yeah, I'm not afraid about the ambush. Uh, we could simply rush away. But yeah, we're slowly but surely uh, we will need to get closer um, to finding the strongholds. Because I don't want to play a lot of defense missions with that specific setup. Ogbite still has five days. Gotta scan more. Even if that means that we're losing the engineer here. All negative traits removed. That is fantastic. Who else could we put in here? Yeah, Roby should get his negative traits removed. That's a good idea. I think you will find our and we got Elerium. Wonderful. Very good. Powered armor is exactly what we would want. Mutant autopsy for free. That allows us... Uh, advanced grenade launcher and plasma grenade. Part armor would be good. Takes a while, but it definitely would be good. I think before we're doing that, though, how about we're uh, fielding in the shield bearer out of sea? Expectations as to the limited that allows us to use the proving ground again, and that's exactly what we would need. Lightly wounded, he's almost back. Yeah, 150 supplies and a bit of Elarium. Well, more Elarium than we could handle at this point. But yeah, that would give us quite a bit of energy, right? Two more days until resistance ring. And over here, I think we wanted to then also improve the contacts next. So yeah, we're on the way. It will take some time. On the right track. Not yet done though. Very good. We got a bond level two going. And we're almost done. One more day until Roby is, uh, until Hogbite is back. And then we can continue with the engineer. Good, so we got resist uh, the resistance ring, which is fantastic. We, for the first time, uh, got that building in this run. Um, it makes sense to have Julie here to speed it up right away. And that, like, 
already binds three engineers, one for healing, one for training, one for the resistance ring. Commander, the factions you have contacted. And let's see what what else we got. Look, reduce avatar progress. That's exactly what we were looking for. That's fantastic. So we're going to do that next. Yeah, I, I can definitely see we can stabilize the game now a bit more. Let's go, boys. Let's go. We need to get that power coil here going. And then I think I can migrate the power relay from here to here. Could even imagine getting a second Sonic Lab. And yeah, Shadow Chamber is one of the things that we're missing. Yeah, and of course, alien uh, contacts. So additional communication contacts. Okay. Eric Anderson, aka Hogbite, is back. So, yeah, that looks like a team we can work with. Wonderful. They cannot improve their uh, bound yet. Um, can do a bond improvement literally once, um, once his bond mate is no longer tired. And we're continuing to get a new engineer. decrease our income but we got another um, slot over here so a couple of things number one we want to continue the excavation even if that means wiping out entire camps of resistance supporters we're their only line of defense and for now resistance communication would definitely be helpful share chamber we can do a little bit later but yeah, we wanted to get um, more contacts and we can slowly build uh, towards that. I think we're on the right track here. Infirmary, the hyper uh, vital module is probably something that we should buy sooner than later because I got the eerie feeling that we might need it in this run to send someone onto a mission, although they are wounded. These findings will likely prove wonderful oh, that's a good uh, thing well, we got experimental armor and it overall even uh, decreased our time for powered armor we now got an inspiration here that's fantastic so we didn't lose much time overall what it was like in the old days always on edge ready for a fight on a moment's notice so we finally got experimental armor going which we can slot two of them, I suppose, into the queue. Takes a while, but and we could sp theoretically speed it up, but we're short on. We're very short on engineers, believe it or not. We got seven engineers and we're still not making enough progress here. Very nice. That's yet another engineer. So do we want that engineer to build armor faster? Or do we want to uh, to excavate? I think we're going for armor at this point. Because reducing it by 50% is quite a big deal. And unless we get the instant armor build uh, uh, um, resistance order, this here will help us. Uh, the other, the other line of argumentation that you could make is, you know what, we want to build a second side chamber, and therefore we need excavation, and this builds on itself, so it doesn't really need attention. I can see that as well. So let's see, can we, like, get this here easily? Yeah, that's not too bad. That's actually only two instead of three. So. Yeah, we can already start with it, making a bit of progress. Good, we lost the resistance, con uh, uh, the extra re resistance contact there. It's unfortunate. 
Could get some alien alloys. Could get some supplies. Oh, we're probably going for the supplies at this point. So that we can, if needed, buy the hyperventilation module. And I think since they have just recovered. Yeah, we can do some bond training. Let's see if we even have the time or if another mission will interrupt us. Our people seem to work well together, Commander. Fantastic. This latest piece of intel on the chosen might prove useful. You're starting to win over my Fantastic. Team, so we got ourselves and so recruits will well, immediately recruit start as a sergeant. That is a really, really, really strong resistance order. That's a really strong one. Unfortunately, they're pretty late from our perspective. Plus three willpower. Um, we're putting the skirmisher here as well. And of course, we don't want anyone to be captured. Doesn't matter if they're ambushed. I think we're still going to be fine. Having the Avatar project progress reduced by two again will buy us more time. So we're sort of fighting against that. Um, ability points are good, but other, otherwise I would also want to um, get closer to the um, uh, to the ch uh, Chosen. So we're probably going uh, to do Hunt the Chosen Part 2 after the Avatar progress. Yeah, nine days, so that is fine. It's even happening prior to the supply drop. Okay, wonderful. That's good. And there is... Yeah, that's... <laughs> no! Protect the device. Oh, no! I don't want to play a protect the device mission. No, I don't want to. But I also don't want to deal with double tech levels and double psionic defenses. What else do we have? A scientist and a hidden event that could be nasty as well. That one is not too bad. I that's really not too bad. So if we let this one here through, we gotta do it the next time. It did not appear yet, so it's the first time it will therefore not immediately appear. You always have two chances to to basically counter them. Want to do a protect the device mission. Nice, it's just horrible in itself. But with this group in particular, oh boy. It's not going to be fun at all. No, I'll probably not do it. Um, in terms of available soldiers, yeah, Templar specialist makes sense. And we probably need to stop the bond training here. Another ranger, another specialist. Ranger, ranger. Yeah, I think we're okay. The Templars seek to take from the elders what is most precious to them. The psionic power they draw from this world and all the other worlds they have dominion over. Good. That is the end of today's episode, guys. We're almost uh, um, at powered armor. We're starting to build nice little experimental armor. That's fantastic. I like it. We got good old psionic training going. Uh, we are having a resistance ring finally. We got an infirmary, so things are looking up. The only thing that is missing now is a bit more of ability points and yeah we gotta um get the chosen before they are shooting us down so we're going to focus on the assassin first we're probably having one maybe two more months after this before the assassin has a full uh, full uh, full rage bar and then we have a real problem yeah probably one more month and then she's she's like uh, ready to shoot us down we're going to be in a problematic spot here as well so might as well want to uh, fight against him afterwards 
The one advantage that we do have by only being so so tight with our um, with our expansion is that we essentially do not um, meet the third one, the hunter, and that means he cannot progress. So we might be able to knock out both of the chosens um, before we're seeing the hunter. The one thing that I still don't know is whether or not it's possible to hit the sarcophagus with psi abilities. Um, I was uh, told on the forum uh, that uh, you can hit the sarcophagus with um, with the uh, with certain psi abilities such as null lens, and if that is the case then we're having a chance of killing them. If that is not the case, I will need to become really, really creative as of how we can uh, destroy these sarcophagus. We could kill them, but we can probably not win against a um, reanimating sarcophagus. And if that's the case, things might change because uh, we are seeing each other, uh, uh, or we're seeing, uh, we're in the, on the threat of being invaded over and over and I've played a, uh, a campaign where I've like did uh, with uh, with the um, solo um, legendary Iron Man run, uh, where I've did like probably around 40 um, uh, de defenses. And number one, it gets a bit boring with uh, that many defenses. Number two, uh, the actual problem is uh, that uh, some of uh, them are much closer than you would expect. So sometimes. Um, the timer that you do have available is not that long and the chosen can be difficult opponents if you're um, if they catch you on the wrong foot so with that team in particular I'm not 100% sure if um, if we can easily make it to the gun and um, destroy it because the gun um, is kind of the doom timer uh, there and by charging there without having snipers or defense turrets to to take care of it that's going to be a very very unfun mission to play uh, which then in return forces us to even speed up our run towards the last mission a bit more and i don't want to meet all of the chosen with half geared soldiers i rather would like to have a very very well geared um troop of colonels specifically with in minimum two psi operatives if not uh, more because they are less hampered than any other uh, troop uh, by the limitation so yeah that's the thought process around end game difficulties here and i hope that we can overcome it because so far the run is a lot of fun we're now getting to a stage where it might become more and more difficult as time goes. Anyways, thanks for uh, watching, guys. If you enjoyed the content, uh, feel free to leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in the next run. Bye-bye.